we gather in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. James. Blessed is he who perseveres in temptation, for when he has been proven, he will receive the crown of life that he promised to those who love him. No one experiencing temptation should say, I am being tempted by God, for God is not subject to temptation to evil and he himself tempts no one. Rather, each person is tempted when lured and enticed by his desire. Then desire conceives and brings forth sin, and when sin reaches maturity, it gives birth to death. Do not be deceived, my beloved brothers and sisters. All good giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no alteration or shadow caused by change. He willed to give us birth by the word of truth, that we may be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Bless the man who instruct, O Lord. Bless the man who instruct you, Lord. Bless the man whom you instruct, O Lord, whom by your law you teach, giving him rest from evil days. Bless the man you instruct, O Lord. For the Lord will not cast off his people, nor abandon his inheritance. But judgment shall again be with justice, and all the upright of heart shall follow it. Blessed the man you instruct, O Lord. When I say, my foot is slipping, your mercy, O Lord, sustains me. When cares abound within me, your comfort gladness my soul. Bless the man you instruct, O Lord. Please stand. Then. Whoever loves me will keep my word, says the Lord, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples had forgotten to bring bread, and they had only one loaf with them in the boat. Jesus enjoined them, Watch out, guard against the leaven of the Pharisees and the leaven of Herod. They concluded among themselves that it was because they had no bread. When he became aware of this, he said to them, Why do you conclude that it is because you have no bread? 
Do you not yet understand and comprehend? Are your hearts hardened? Do you have eyes and not see, ears and not hear? And do you not remember when I broke the five loaves for the five thousand, how many wicker baskets full of fragment you picked up? They answered him, Twelve. When I broke the seven loaves for the four thousand, how many full baskets of fragments did you pick up? They answered him, Seven. He said to them, Do you still not understand? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Sa atin pong Ibanghelyo, nakita natin kung gaano ka-disappointed si Jesus sa kanyang mga disipulos. Nakalimutan ng mga disipulos na magdala ng tinapay dahil sila ay nakasakay na sa bangka at pupunta sa kabilang dako. Sa gitna sila ng laot o ng dagat at isa lang ang kanilang dalang pagkain. Paano kaya makakasya yun? Paano nila paghahati-hatian ang tinapay? Kaya nagalit si Jesus. Tapos akala pa ng mga disipulos na yung sinabi niya, Beware, watch out for the leaven of the Pharisees and the leaven of Herod. Mag-ingat kayo sa libadura ng mga pariseyo at ni Herod. Di ba yung yeast o yung lebadura ay nagpapaangat sa tinapay? Ano ba yung ibig sabihin nun? Sa kanilang pagpapakitang tao, mag-ingat kayo. Tinuturuan ni Jesus ang mga disipulos na huwag gayahin ang halimbawa ng mga pariseyo at ni Herod ng pagpapakitang tao na lahat Maganda sa labas, pero sa loob, inaamag. Pero anong iniisip nila? Wala pa rin silang tinapay. Kulang ang tinapay. Tinuturuan sila ni Jesus kanong hindi dapat gawin. At sa mga ilang araw na sila ay magkasama, tinuturuan sila ni Jesus ng mabuting balita. At hindi lang basta-basta ito itinuro ipinakita at pina-experience sa kanila. Kaya nga tinanong ni Jesus, nung pinakain ko ang limang libong katao sa pamamagitan ng limang tinapay at mangingilang isda, ilan ang natira na basket? Twelve. Nung pinakain ko ang apat na libo, sa ilang pirasong tinapay at isda, ilan ang natira? Ito. Nakita nila, na-experience nila, naranasan nila ang kadakilaan ng Diyos sa harap ng kanilang mga mata. Pero hindi pa rin nila naintindihan. Bakit? Nakatuon sila sa wala. Wala tayong tinapay. At kahit na ano ang ituro, kahit na anong ipakita, kahit na ano ang ipaaranas, kung sa iba ka nakabaling ang iyong tingin, hindi mo makikita yun. Kaya nga siguro kahapon, ang iba, Nagbibilang, ay, wala akong natanggap ng roses. Ay, walang bumati sa akin. Ay, wala nang libre sa akin. Wala akong kadate. Kahit malungkot sila. But you know, it's not just yesterday, but every day. 
there are people who are longing to be with you, showing every day how much they care and love you, pero hindi mo nakikita. Bakit? Sa iba ka nakatingin eh. Sana siya. Sana ito. Sana ganito. Sana ganun. Iba ang tinitingnan mo eh. Ibinigay naman sa'yo. Pinakita naman sa'yo. Pinaranas naman sa'yo. Pero wala. Di mo pinansin. Bakit? Nakatuon ng paningin mo sa wala. Walang nagmamahal. Walang kumakalinga. Wala kang kasama. Araw-araw ko nagbibilang ng wala. Kaya hindi mo nakikita kung ano yung binibigay sa'yo. Kung ano yung gustong iparana sa'yo ng ibang tao na tunay na nagmamahal sa'yo, na kumakalinga sa'yo, na nag-aalala sa'yo. Hindi mo nakita yon, Kasi nga, hinahanap mo, wala. At yun ang nakita ng mga disipulos. Kulang. Yung wala. Di nila alam na kaya-kaya silang busugin ni Jesus. Na kayang-kaya silang bigyan ng tinapay. Na kayang-kaya silang turuan. Ibaling lang sana nila ang tingin nila kay Jesus. At hindi sa wala. Kaya nga, minsan may isang mag-asawa, matanda na. 50 years na silang nagsasama. Lolo at lola na. Minsan si lolo, hindi nahandaan ni lola ng pagkain. Walang naibigay na pagkain. Pagkatapos, biglang tanong ni lolo kay lola, Mahal mo ba ako? Pagkatapos, mangiyak-ngiyak si lola. At minsan, pinapalo yung dibdib ni lolo. Kinukwelyuhan pa. Habang sinasabi, pinagtyagaan kita ang matagal na panahon. Lahat ng mga anak ko at anak mo, tinulungan ko, pinalaki ko, pinag-aral ko, inaruga ko. Nung nagkasakit ka, Sinong nasa tabi mo? Nung nagloko ka, iniwan ba kita? Nilayuan ba kita? Ang nakita lang kasi ni Lolo, walang naihandang pagkain si Lola. Tapos sabi pa ni Lola, kung hindi pagmamahal yun, ang lahat ng yun, ano yun? Kaya siguro, ang hamon sa atin, ay ibaling ang ating mga mata, ang ating paningin, ang ating pangunawa, sa kung anong meron, sa kung anong binigay, So kung anong pinapakita sa'yo ng Diyos, ng mga tao nang nasa paligid mo, ng mga tao nagmamahal sa'yo, nandito ko. All along, I was with you. Nandito ako. Kaya sana, huwag natin hanapin ng wala. At ituon, ang ating paningin, buksan ang ating puso't isipan sa kung anong binigay ng Diyos. Dahil araw-araw, walang palya, walang patid, pinapakita niya 
gano'ng kanya kamahal at ibinibigay sa iyo ang lahat na makakabuti para sa iyo. Buksan mo lang yung mata at ibaling sa kanya. Please stand. Coming together as God's people, we bring our needs before the Father, confident that He will grant our requests. For every petition, we shall answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that our pastors may totally dedicate their lives in preaching the gospel by their witness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That parents and teachers may become living examples of faith to those under their care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may give our best to do what is right, and may God's word be a living power influencing our actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may show compassion to the elderly, the lonely, and sick. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may find rest and new life in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our personal intentions, for the intentions of this Mass, for all those whom we promise to pray, and for the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, deepen our faith so that we may grow in your love and always serve you with generous and sincere hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. For the mystery of this pot and wine, and promptly share in the divisive Christ's humble himself, share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With the humble spirit and contrite heart, may be accepted by you, Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleased with you. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that may sacrifice in yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of everlasting reward. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man. And when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him. Through Christ our Lord, through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs 
in humble praise as we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial, of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep. In the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Sabi si kami, panari 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. May this mingling of the body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the blood and blood of Christ keep me safe.
please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. For every prayer, let us pray, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That a common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, Politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, so that we may always long for the food by which we truly live. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, candles, oils, and images, and other religious articles be blessed and be made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.